So hello gamers and welcome back to another video. A lot of people have been saying that the M1903 is now the best sniper in the game. Today I wanted to check if that really is true. The stats of this gun are pretty interesting. It has very high velocity of 3,000, 5 studs of pen, pretty fast handling as well, especially with a decent setup. And it has some other pretty interesting stuff like a 75 stud torso kill and actually 55 RPM. So it fires pretty fast. It has a torso kill range, high velocity, high pen. Overall, this thing has some really nice stuff. Only 75 the torso kill range though, which is slower than like the Remington 700, the AWM, not great, but like all of those stats are really good. So this is an overall great sniper rifle. So what guns beat it in a few categories? For RPM, you have stuff like, for example, the Mosin and the Scow. However, those do not have a torso kill and this does. So think of that how you will. They both headshot kill all ranges. So that does make them a little bit better than this gun in a couple of categories. But then you have for torso kill, 50 cals and the intervention. Those fire a bit slower and have overall slower handle. So if you want the torso kill, go ahead. The intervention has double the range. Then for velocity, ones with faster are really just not a lot of guns, just the intervention really, and maybe a couple of snipers with certain conversions and long barrel. But this gun has 3,000 velocity, so it's not a big problem. Same with pen, five studs of pen, doesn't matter. Like you do not need more than five studs. The only guns that really beat it, like the intervention even has less. The only guns that beat it, of course, are the 50 counts, which have double that, but it's really not a big problem. Five studs is really just plenty. You're not gonna have a big problem with wall banging on this gun. So overall, it really doesn't have any major downsides. The only real downside is maybe the fact that it only has five rounds and it doesn't have the best torso kill range. But overall, this gun has just great stats. It does have AP for 7.5 studs of pen, which is cool, but you only get like a 40 stud torso kill range. So I don't really recommend that. And you have the Peterson device, which does allow you to essentially get a really weird DMR. I kind of like it. It's not a great conversion, but it does feel like it has a place in the game as a very nice tappy DMR conversion that's really only great for close range. Keep in mind, I'm running basically the highest recoil setup on this gun. So that's why the recoil is actually kind of not great. But normally, the recoil is really good, and you can actually tap some people down. You get 40 rounds, two hit head to 100 studs, three hit body, 200 studs. Not a bad conversion overall, but it's not that great. Then you have air service mag for 25 rounds, and you do have a slower rate of fire by a little bit, probably about like 50, maybe 48 RPM with the slower bolting speed, but you do get 25 rounds, which is pretty nice. I don't think this is an amazing conversion but if you want to never have to reload ever it's kind of nice for that particular strategy but this conversion does single load which means the reload time is forever that's the reload for two rounds imagine that for 12 times that i'm gonna be real this is a really really good gun i don't think this is necessarily going to be the best sniper in the game but overall yeah it's the best sniper with the remington 700 nerf and the rpm being slower on that thing it's not really the jack of all trades this is kind of just the jack of all trades and it had some stuff that remington never really had it has high velocity, high pen, decent torso kill range, decent RPM, decent reload time, really good handling. There's really nothing to be too sad about on this gun. It's got everything pretty good, and I don't think it's super broken. It might need a nerf because although it's not broken or anything, it just doesn't really have any noticeable downside. Like, sure, it doesn't have the best torso kill range, but 75 studs, and sure, it doesn't have the best pen, but it's still 5 studs, and sure, it doesn't have the best velocity, but it's still 3,000, which is really great, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be real, this gun is absolutely the best sniper in the game at the moment. Inter Prevention is still possibly better. Same with the M107, it's still possibly better, but overall, those guns have downsides. This just doesn't really have a downside. Anyways, gamers, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Does it need a nerf? Does it need a buff? I don't think it needs a buff. Nobody's going to say that. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys did enjoy them, make sure to like and sub, and I will see you guys in the next one.